Let's take some time to have a closer look at a single objective problem. This will give us some perspective. In single objective problems, the objective is to find a single solution which represents the global optimum in the entire search space. Determining which solutions outperform others is a relatively simple task when only considering a single objective. This is because the best solution is simply the one with the best objective value. For maximization problems, this means the highest value, or for minimization problems, this means the lowest value. Speaking of evolutionary algorithms, you can support this work by getting the book on practical evolutionary algorithms. It's a practical ebook that takes you from the concepts to how they're implemented using Python. You'll get all the Jupyter notebooks, unlimited updates, and of course, these supplementary video tutorials. Check out the link in the description. You will also find the link to my Twitter and the Discord channel where you can make requests and get support. Let's take a look at the sphere function as an example. The sphere function is a single objective test function which has been expressed in expression 1, where each problem variable is between minus 5.12 and 5.12. It's continuous, convex, and unimodal. It's also scalable with regards to its dimensionality in the problem domain. However, we'll use its two-dimensional configuration for easy visualization throughout this notebook. Let's implement this problem in Python so that we can evaluate some solutions. Now, let's prepare for the initialization of five solutions with two problem variables. We'll specify the desired population size, n, and the dimensionality of the problem domain, d. We'll also specify the lower and upper boundaries for our problem variables. Let's initialize a population with random decision variables. And now, to generate the objective values, we'll evaluate each solution x using the sphere function that we defined above. We only have five solutions, so it's feasible to list all of our objective values to take a peek. We can very easily select the best solution from the above population. It's simply the solution with the smallest objective value as we're concerned with minimization for the sphere function. It's worth noting that this example relies on random numbers. This means you'll see different results when executing the code in this notebook for yourself. Let's see if we can get a better understanding of the problem domain by generating and visualizing 1,000 more solutions. This means setting n equal to 1,000. We can achieve this by repeating the same code as above but with slightly different parameters to generate our population of solutions and evaluate them using the sphere function. All that's left now is to visualize the results. For this, we'll use a 3D scatterplot to plot the problem variables of each solution along with each corresponding objective value. We will reserve the vertical axis for the objective value f, meaning that the lower points represent better performing solutions. In this section, we've covered the very basics on the topic of single objective optimization problems using the popular sphere function as an example. The most important lesson from this section is that it's often trivial to determine which solution outperforms the rest when working with a single objective problem. Speaking of evolutionary algorithms, you can support this work by getting the book on practical evolutionary algorithms. It's a practical ebook that takes you from the concepts to how they're implemented using Python. You'll get all the Jupyter notebooks, unlimited updates, and of course, these supplementary video tutorials. Check out the link in the description. You will also find the link to my Twitter and the Discord channel where you can make requests and get support.